17, silly me Thought it was gonna live the American dream I knew one day I was gonna be a superstar So I packed my bags and I moved away Got a one-way trip to California It's been an amazing journey, 15 years in the making. Um, about me, uh, I was raised in South Carolina, very ordinary, very country, very down to earth uh, individual um, who loves all shades of people, love all shades and all sounds of music. Um, it's really cool how we came into the sound. Um, a friend of mine, CK, and I came up with a really good sound together and a good chemistry. Uh, so, in three you know, words, so. what describes Stan Hill? Energetic, loving, and faithful. You know, um, loving to to um, to my music, to my craft. Faithful to to God and uh, to myself and my family and loved ones. Uh, you know, energetic. I'm always on cue. I'm always trying to get it going because I'm always crunk. You know, uh, it's hard for me to even sleep. So, uh, I'm, it's amazing. You know, uh, how far I've come and where I've come from. So. When you see that journey, it's it's amazing to me just uh, just how original I am. So let's talk and, about uh, this journey. You know what, I'm saying? <clears throat> what type of journey was it? Wow, wow, man. Uh, well, I was 17, um, took off to go to LA to do movie work, and went out there. Thought everything was gonna fall in my lap, and unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Ended up in the streets, uh, you know, living in the streets and meeting a couple of great people who led me in the right direction. Um, came back out East Coast and um, kind of, you know, just just uh, went from there to London and did a song with Fredro Starr, which uh, was pretty good, and uh, ended up in the streets over there in London. And <laughs> it was crazy because there was little kids coming up to me that looked like, uh, like Tiny Tim or uh, uh, Oliver Twist, like, you got any shillings? But it was crazy because... <laughs> Uh, you know, it was just, it was a mess. The so whole ordeal. Now, man, it, you know what? Let me tell you something, man. Um, you know, when I when I believe 100%, what goes around comes around. You know, what you do in life, you know, it does come back to get you. And uh, I've been through all of it. So you know? all the hardship that you have, I'm no surprised it didn't make you bitter in music. Nah, you know what though? Uh, it didn't make me bitter, man, because I love it. I love being in the center of attention. Um, I love my music, I love my craft, and that's all I do. Everywhere I go, man, I'm, I'm always singing. People are always asking me, oh, you sing everywhere you go, and I just, I just love it. You know? So what keeps you grounded? Well, I'll tell you what keeps me grounded. Um, my family, my kids, um, wow. Knowing that my mother can have a lot so better. about this unique sound that you found? How did you come across that sound? I mean, how would you categorize it? Well, I'll tell you what, it's a different um, sound. It's, it's, it's got really a cool R&B sort of beat, but a lot of the stuff is, is, is country, pop, um, and, uh, and rock and roll. So mixed in, I, I, I grew up rock and roll country. And um, at an earlier age, I got introduced to the hip hop and I started doing all kinds of stuff with hip hop. I loved it. Um, it was amazing to me, just the sound. Um, then listen to the lyrics and stuff and people's stories, uh, you know, from the streets and their perspective. I, I thought it was great. So I, I, we put all that sort of together over the years and um, we came up with this sound and, you know, it's, it's amazing. So who's you know, the so. people behind, behind Stan Hill? Like, who's the force? Well, um, CK, um, um, I was introduced to CK through Swift Management. It was well, I, actually my, my manager now, but I was introduced to CK through Swift, and um, he heard me. I sang a cappella in front of him, and I uh, killed it. And he was like, "Wow, you know, it's amazing, just how um, talented, how good you sing." So, um, you know, I could I could do an R&B album and, and, and be good with it, but we wanted something totally different. I wanted to do something different that would touch a lot of people's lives and um, different different avenues. I want to um, 
You know, it's, it's just amazing, man. You know, so I'm grateful. I am, and I'm gonna take this thing, man. I'm going straight out of here with it. So it's, it's gonna be so good. If you, had, if you had a chance to do it all over again, uh, would you change anything? Nah. I am who I am today, and um, you know, uh, you know, living in cars or whatever, you know, the, the, the circumstances, man. If you have a dream and you are ambitious enough and you really want it, you know, um, there's nothing impossible. Uh, you just have to be a go-getter, man. You really have to love it here and know that here that you're going to be able to do what you got to do and keep a level head. Um, sometimes it, it really upsets you, you know, stuff you go through. But you have to pray for those that do you wrong, you know, so, and pray that you can better your situation and do what you need to do. Future, well, so. There's a talk going on in the industry that you know you're the next thing, you know. So, you know, take your glasses off and tell everybody where they can find Stan Hill. <laughs> well, you can find me in uh, my URL, uh, MySpace. It's uh, Mr. Stan Hill, and um, you can check me out there and just listen to a variety of music and stuff like that. So, um, I invite you out. So check it out, and um, you know, hopefully you, you like the music and. Uh, there's the music everybody has their own picks I mean you know a lot of people like Hello Goodbye a lot of people like I Surrender or I Could Be Wrong uh, we're working on a lot of stuff now so I want to be most definitely ready for you guys and um, I'm going to work very hard my show is going to be incredible we have a lot of um, ambitious people we have a lot of people working on my project that are really amazing and I appreciate that uh, I'm just being humble, you know. I'm loving life right now. I'm alive, and I got this right here, and I'm going to run with it. I'm going to well, make it happen. We definitely thank you for talking with us. Do you have anybody you'd like to thank before we get out of here? Well, I'd like to thank God above <laughs> for most definitely allowing me to be here today to take this. And um, uh, I'd like to take, uh, thank uh, Swift Management. Um, um, just thank everybody that's in my corner, everybody that's helping me out. Um, you know, to get this project up, off the ground, um, Sir Magazine, um, you know, um, just just everybody in, in a nutshell, man. I, I, there's so many names that, that just jumped aboard, you know, so like my boy BK that has the, my <laughs> the camera right now, so I just, I just I'm just i loving life, man. I'm, I'm really grateful, so I'm, I'm thanking everybody from the bottom of my heart. So, Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Peace.